Pockets Pi is an application that allows you to take photos or record audio kind of on the DL, on the down low, you know, keeping it kind of private without everybody being able to see. Because, you know, if you take photos using the camera app, it makes noise. And if you record audio using the big old microphone image app, then it's quite noticeable. So this app allows you to kind of do it without getting noticed. We've got the camera showing up over here. We've got the audio showing up here. Let's go and look at settings really quick. I can enable a voice sensor, which will allow the uh, photos to be taken or audio to be recorded when it hears noise. Or a motion sensor, which will detect motion and then set it off. I can choose my screen, whether or not I want it to show the instructions, a web page, or simply blank. So let me show you an example. Um, let's go ahead and leave sequential photos off. I can have it take a three, five, or seven shot burst. I'll demo that in a second. And then of course we can lock our vault, which is right here where it stores our photos and our audio. We can put a passcode on it to keep it private. So basically what we could do, we could take a photo, by tapping there or we can record audio by tapping here but that's not the most useful part of the app the most useful part is hitting that button and then getting this screen so tap once to take a photo tap twice to start recording tap three times to stop recording so tap and hold to exit let's go out to settings and change to web page and then go back to recorder and hit activate so now we've got this web page, so it looks like we're browsing a web page, but you can see we've got our camera that shows up in that little thumbnail right there. So if I tap once, we take a picture. You heard the noise. If I turn off my sound on the side, then I don't have any sound. So we're taking photos. You can see right there. I could turn the sound back on, of course. I can tap twice to start recording, and you can see up here it says recording. I could tap three times to stop, and then push and hold to go back. Now let's go to settings, blank page. Now we've got a blank screen, which basically looks like we're doing nothing. Of course, you can see my reflection, but let's hit the camera. You can hear the camera, so it works just the same. Tap and hold to go back. Let's go look at our vault. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in our vault now. Um, images and video, I mean images and audio here that we can see as well. Let's take a look at sequential photos and then we'll be done. So let's choose three and we'll go ahead and put it on web page and then go to recorder. So one tap. And we get three photos in a row. Tap and hold to go back. And then, of course, you can set your quick exit page, which I've set to dailyappshow.com. If you just need to get out of this application because, you know, the jig is up and you really, you're about to get caught and you need to get out quick and launch something else fast, quick exit, boom, launches a website. Now you're at whatever website you want it to be. You can customize this, although I think if you put dailyappshow.com in there, it would be pretty awesome, but uh, you could put any website that you want in there, and then of course it goes and launches that website right away so that you can get out and uh, you know not get caught so definitely check out pockets pie today in the app store I think it's a fun app to have especially if you're trying not to get caught taking photos or or audio recordings uh, for whatever reason I'm gonna leave it at that so take care and we'll see you next time at the daily app show